Ryder Sykes, picking and flipping. Got this uh, Alpine disc changer for a car. Oh, there's the model. Uh, they wanted $34.98, but it was orange tag day, so it was 50 cents. And then I picked up this, oh, excuse me, uh, DVD player. It's Lasonic uh, 1100. Um, and I'll test this out. This I can test. Uh, again, they wanted 10 bucks, but it was orange tag. So 50 cents. That's a dollar's worth of items right there in the first two items I've showed you. This, uh, it's uh, Eddie Bauer. Eddie Bauer, casual button-down shirt, buffalo blue, casual button. It's got this floral lining, makes me, and the feel of it's kind of stretchy. Makes me think it's a, actually a woman's shirt, um, but it could be a guy's shirt. We'll look it up. It's Fifty cents. It's going to be a bit of a common theme here. This is an 88, but it's a pearl snap. Fifty cents. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you if something is not fifty cents. Otherwise, just assume everything on here is fifty cents. Um, this is another 88. It is a casual button-down, long sleeve. Could be a dress shirt. It's uh, red, white, and blue plaid. Men's size large. All right, this is uh, Pronto Umo Blue, large. Nice little dresser, casual go out clubbing shirt. I've done that in years. We used to go to this place called Guitars and Cadillacs. And no, they really didn't play a lot of country music, but they had a teeny bopper night back before I was old enough. And we'd go on teeny bopper night and line dance. Well, they would, I would just go with them. This is a Cherokee pullover. It's like a little sweatshirt, um, like a hoodless hoodie, hoodly, hoodie, quarter zip. Well, maybe that's a half zip. Looks for quarter though. Now this jacket does have a brand. Oh, excuse me, does have a brand in it. A and D Supply. I don't know who that is. A local company here. However, it's a very nice Port Authority size large jacket and it's got a bunch of you know pockets in here and it's it's very nice um even if i don't get full asking price because of the company logo i should still be able to make money just because of the um quality of the jacket so this is international concept now this zipper that's going around it's actually it doesn't serve a purpose there's no hood or anything that's missing it's it's decor but it is a quarter zip again it's a pullover sweatshirt and this one feels like more of a traditional sweatshirt versus a hoodie i'm so sorry for the drilling in the background my kid is working on our wife's car he's going to be a mechanic so he works at a ford dealership it's freaking awesome now board shorts made a killing in board shorts but a lot of these board shorts are about two dollars each um, I'd say about half of them are 50 cents, half of them were $1.50, and then there's probably two or three that were um, three bucks a piece. But either way, I'm still going to make a ton of money. These are Russell size 28s, and these are board shorts. They're like beach shorts. They're, there's no mesh in them. They're not swim trunks. They're Nike, so I think they will sell. These are Nike swim trunks. Men's mediums, and if you look, they got the little golden swoosh. So this pair was it this pair? Or there was another pair of Nikes, probably this pair. Um, they were orange tags, so they were only fifty cents. However, they must have ran out of that tag color. So it said the word orange, but it was all white. So it must have must have uh, people must have looked past it. I've sold this brand in the past. 
they sell pretty well. You got that diamond pattern on them. Um, these are nice. These are Oakleys. Obviously, this is one that I paid a little bit more for. These are Oakley men's board short size 34. Those will sell pretty well. Uh, another thing I have finally learned is I think I've gotten over that. Don't undervalue yourself. You're a top rated eBay seller and have been selling long enough. You have enough feedback. Start pricing things for what they're actually worth. Um, these are, I don't know how you pronounce it. We've always said Billabong, but it could be Beabong. Um, Recycler series. That says Joel Parkinson. Stretch fabric. Look like board shorts as well. They're pretty nice. I've got a few pairs of those. These are uh, Speedo brand board shorts. Speedo brand's always good, and these were just 50 cents, so why not? Uh, these are actually Levi L2. They feel a little bit different, but of course they're Levi. They're not typically your board short, but they are. They do have the pocket up front. They are a beach short, a uh, uh, salty air, dry, quick type material. All right, these are OPs. Also men, size 34s. Most of this stuff will be listed by midnight tonight. Um, I don't, yes, you need to do the draft method. Um, a lot of people do the draft method. You need to list things every day, but I like to just throw everything up because as long as you're going in and checking things, you know, I'll revise listings, that kind of stuff. So that eBay still sees I'm active, but I like to throw everything up because my mindset is all this stuff is sitting here and it's not listed. I'm not making any money. I'm, I'm, paying my rent here to store this these are uh, gone south size 38 and they're just a you know green with a black stripe on the side but they will sell it is uh summer these are some nice hawaiian they got i want to say it's an apple but i don't think that that would be an apple it's got to be some kind of other fruit or nut or something um what brand are these Sand and Sun, and they are board shorts as well. They're uh, 36-38s. And the cool thing about board shorts is you got the drawstring. So as long as the people get a large enough waist, um, being a little bit too large is not that huge of an issue. So you have a better chance of no returns. This is a brand... Uh, it says Courage Above All. It says Army on it. I know I said it. it says Army down there on the bottom. But I cannot... Oh, there's the tag. So it's APP uh, App Prime. Yep, Courage Above All App Prime. They're smalls. Um, this will probably be one of the ones that I look up and it's got the best comps and everything. It's always the weird ones. All right, these are more of the Bia Bongs Recycler Series. These are not the named ones. Um, these are size. This is PX3. Where's the size on these? Oh, I'm probably looking right at them and don't see it. 38. Oh, my goodness. Aha. This is a long video, so if you're still with me, I appreciate your time. I appreciate the hours you're giving me. And if you fast forwarded to this point just to see the haul, that's great too. Um, check out my other stuff. These are also size, oh, these are size 36s. PX3 Recycler Series. Bia Bong, Billa Bong. Um, these are black with the logo down in the corner. All right. This House of Blues mug. Orange tag, 50 cents. Um, they wanted to $2 originally. It's got some scuffing on it, so I'm actually going to keep it. It's going to go up in my little decor area um, or down here by the bears. And I think it's going to be my change jar. 
Uh, or maybe what I'll do. So I have this Kingdom Hearts mug as well. And that's up near my VHS. And I think I'll put, because I use quarters more. So I think I'll put quarters down in the House of Blues. And all other change up in Kingdom Hearts. And once he gets fulls, I'll just run him to the bank. Once he gets fulls. <laughs> all right. Jeans. Every single one of these is tag sale. There's not a single pair that's that's over 50 cents. So even if they're iffy brands that are only going to sell for five bucks a piece, I'm making money. Uh, 24 wide. These are plus size CJ Banks elastic waist. Short leg dark wash. Those will sell pretty well, pretty quick. Those typically do. For me, anyways. You might have different luck. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just, you know, who happens to be a follower. These are Faded Glory. 24 waist. Again, plus size. Um, but they sell pretty well, regardless of the brand. Plus size clothes sell pretty well. At least for me, which is great, because me, myself, I'm a plus-size guy. Yeah. Although I got told I was looking skinnier today. Maybe I'm just getting sick. Um, these are some little tiny shrimp boat jeans. <laughs> Riders by Lee. Uh, size 10M. Little skinny jeans there. And, you know, right now it's not in. But they'll still sell. And for 50 cents, eh, why not? Um, these are one true fit. Oh man, it's windy out. Okay. One true fit jeans, size 13, 14 mediums. Ba Boom. Oh, you can't see nothing. Look at me. All right. And again, those will be listed. I'm going to snap photos of everything. They're already processed, finally, and yeah. Uh, D and Co. Denim and Company, size 16s. Now these are not button. These are little latch hooks. Dark wash. Some fuzzies. All right. All right, Massimo Supply Company. I remember when this used to be the brand, like one of the big brands to wear. Um, check the zipper. Zipper works. Size 17. And they are flared out a little bit. And they're cut up on the bottom, most likely from skateboarding. I came from a big uh, skater punk school, so we had a lot of jenkos and stuff back in the day if you remember those i would love a pair of those best jeans i ever owned wore those things until they literally ripped down the middle and you couldn't couldn't wear them anymore these are 16 wide more uh riders eased Ooh, all right um one more pair here. These are CJ Banks. Again. Stretch, 24 wide. Some more plus side. And these have a little embroidery on the pocket back there. To make them fancy. Uh, and then this Disney Infinity Pad. Orange tag, 50 cents. I love it. Uh, can't test that either. These boots, uh, Ruby and Bloom. Is that the size? Oh, it's probably in the shoe. And I have to switch for it. Um, seven and a half. They're Drake. Women's uh, squared toed. Which is shoes? Which is boots? And then this wine opener, that I can test. I mean, you just plug it in and hit the button, see if it spins. 
Um, Westinghouse. Also, it was an orange tag. So, it was 50 cents. And what else did I do? Oh, if you haven't already seen, I did start my other channel. It is Show It, Sell It uh, Paintings. And I did this painting. It's called the Metallic Forest because of the iridescent painting or paints that I used. And unfortunately, while I was painting, it was at this angle, so you could barely see and it's more like that. But when you actually bring it up close, this is for sale right now. It's on auction until next uh, Saturday, I believe. <coughs> I'm going to try to do one of those every single week. Um, starting the auctions at $5, that pays for the canvas pretty much. So, oh, I almost forgot this. This is an amazing find. I already took the tag off. And I'll tell you how much it is. Abercrombie & Fitch, Fish Hawk Cliff Tactical. It's a size large. It's a heavy jacket, coat. Very warm. No rips, no tears. 